Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we're going to create a simple glitch text animation using the techniques that we used in our previous tutorial. So if you haven't watched that video, you can watch it from the link below. And this is what we are going to be creating today. Alright, just before we proceed, a lot of you who are watching the video have not subscribed to the channel. So I request you to kindly subscribe to the channel and help me reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Also, follow me on Instagram at the Motion Designers. Alright, back to the tutorial. Alright, first things first, let's go ahead and create a text. Glitch. And center it to the composition and center the anchor point to the text. Control Alt and home to do that and go and collapse this and go to animate and this time we're going to add an opacity and set the opacity to zero and we're going to add an, a little expression to this opacity hold down alt on the keyboard and click on this opacity and type in wiggle 10 comma and 80 and we're going to leave that for now and rename this animator one as in underscore one. So this is going to be an animate in, all right? So let's make some room here. Go to range selector, go to advance and change this shape from square to ramp up. And we're gonna animate the offset of this. So a negative 100, set a keyframe, hold down shift on the keyboard and hit page down four times, one, two, three, four and set it back to 100 and go down here in the ease low set this to 100 and ease high at negative 100 and you can check this randomized order from off to on so what you have is this right that's very cool and we're going to add an opacity so one thing to keep in mind is that while selecting on this layer animate in and go and animate and if you add a position that position will go inside this folder and inside the range selector just above the opacity and we don't want to do that so delete that make sure you are on the text layer select this text layer go to animate and position and that way you have a fresh animation right so rename that as in underscore two so that's going to be two and we're going to shift the position of the Y to 50. So go and collapse this range selector, go to advance and change shape to ramp up. And we're going to animate the offset of this. Set a keyframe, make set this to a negative 100. This time we're going to hold down shift and page down twice. One, two, and we're going to set it to a hundred. And we're going to do the same for this is low to 100 and is high to a negative 100 and randomize the order on. So what you have is this, right? That's really cool. All right. Now that you have the animate in, let's animate this out. So go and collapse this, go to text and we're going to duplicate this in control D and move it down. And we're going to rename this out underscore one and we're going to reverse this all right so go to range selector and shift this keyframe somewhere here because the animate in will go and it will hold for a while and it will go out all right so maybe around about here and go to advance and change from ramp up to ramp down and we're gonna duplicate we're gonna duplicate another copy of this in two control d and move it just below the out one and rename this out underscore two and we're gonna do the same for that collapse that rule go to range selector and keyframes around here move it around here go to advance and change from ramp up to ramp down and what you have is this and it's going out like that very cool so the next step is very simple let's duplicate this control d and right away you go and collapse the text and go to the source of the layer or first layer and go and collapse this as well 
make some room here. Alt click on the source text and pick whip it to the first text so that if you change the title of the first one, this will remain the same. All right, so for example, glitch text, oops, text. So that remains the same, right? So make sure to do that. And we're gonna offset the, the second layer somewhere here and go and select the first text and swap this to only stroke. So you have a stroke and a fill of text. So that's, let's bring it closer a little bit. All right, select both the text, right click, and we're gonna pre-compose it and rename this title. Hit OK. And we're gonna add some glitch to this. So let's create a new solid and rename this map. Hit OK. Go to the effects and presets and type in fractal noise and drag and drop it on the map and change the fractal type from basic to turbulent smooth and soft linear to block. So change this contrast to 220 and brightness to around a negative 90 like that and go to transform and we're gonna transform this so uncheck this uniform scaling and scale width, scale height, something like this. And we're gonna go down down in the evolution. Hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch and type in time times 200. And we're gonna go inside this transform and go down in the offset turbulence. We're gonna animate this. Set a keyframe, go to the last and move it up like this. So what you'll have is this, all right? So let's turn this off for a while and move it just below the text. And let's create an adjustment layer. Where is it? Adjustment layer. And go to the effects and presets and search for this placement map. So the, the whole idea of this is we're gonna use this map, this map, and affect the displacement of the text using the displacement map effect all right so we're gonna add that on the adjustment layer and go and select this to map which is this and source we're gonna select this effects and mask so right away you can see some glitch going on here so we're gonna trim the layer at one second select this hold down alt and close square bracket that trims off the layer and we're gonna add some adjustment to this so we're gonna increase these horizontal and vertical displacement and duplicate this control D and move it somewhere here and somewhere around here that should be gone like that and I'm gonna duplicate another copy control D and move it somewhere here and maybe this time I'm gonna do some some random values on this vertical and this and horizontal displacement and maybe even shorter than that right that's really cool so we're gonna pre-compose all the layers select all the layers right click pre-compose this and rename it glitch effects all right hit ok and now we're gonna add some RGB to this all right go to the effects and presets and type in channels shift channels drag and drop this and inside this shift channels, let this red be red and green be off and the blue be off and set this, set this mode to add, duplicate the layer and go inside this shift channels again. This time we're gonna take this red off and green to green and we're gonna duplicate another copy, control D and this time we're gonna set this green to full off and blue to blue. So we have the same exact color here. So we're gonna offset the timing of these layers. So offset it a little bit here. And one, the red comes in and the green and the blue and it overlaps together. That forms a very cool, cool, you know, glitch here. One thing I forgot to do is that go inside the glitch and go inside this title and I add a layer, new solid and rename this dots 
hit OK, drag it down to the bottom, go to the effects and presets, go to CC ball, action, drag and drop it on that, ball size to around 10, grid spacing, decrease it, and maybe I'm gonna increase the ball size to something like this, and we're gonna pre-compose this, pre-compose, dots, hit OK, and grab this mask, and draw a mask around the text, and hit F on the keyboard, feather it, and hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity, set the keyframe for the opacity 100, go to the first frame, set back to zero, right about here, set a keyframe, blank keyframe, and go to the last, and set this to zero. All right, I hope you like this video. If you wanna learn more After Effects, watch this video. This is Motion Designer, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.